Hello everyone, um, we are in Gerhard Monastery. Um, we have a small group of pilgrims uh, from the Mergen family and we are doing like sightseeing, visiting our holy places um, and it's just amazing and um, very inspirational to go to same places that um, I mean I've been many times but every time I come it's just amazing. We just um, went to the second floor of Gerhard Monastery. Uh, if you have been here you know what I'm talking about. Um, <clears throat> that it's, it's that, that's the room that has perfect acoustics. We sang a few shara guns and it just sounds heavenly even if you have the most terrible voice um, it just makes it uh, sound so beautiful. Gerhard Monastery is um, very unique it's carved out of like mountain and, and when you see the amount of work that people have put in, to, to build this uh, monastery it's just amazing um, you can clearly get inspired knowing that they had a vision in their mind to build this church this monastery and despite all the challenges, they just started to chase this dream, this, this goal, this vision that they had in, in their mind. The key is that they simply relied on the power and the grace of God. They didn't rely on their own uh, abilities and capacities. They trusted the Lord that He's going to give them the ability to build the dream monastery that they had in their mind, and they did. And this reminds me of this story. Uh, a man is walking in a forest and uh, he comes across uh, an egg of eagle. This is one of my favorite stories. Uh, I, I, I've been telling this story uh, for many, many years and I'm sure you heard before, but it's just amazing. So he comes across this egg of, of an eagle and he, uh, he tries to find the nest of the, of, the, of the eagle to put the egg back in, into its nest, but he's not able to find it. So he says, okay, um, Bird is a bird, so what's the difference? I'll put this egg under a, a chicken, so in the chicken's nest. So uh, this egg is uh, now um, in the in the chicken's nest, and uh, it eventually hatches uh, with all the other um, eggs of the chicken. And after it hatches, um, this eagle is basically born among chickens, and he nat naturally thinks he's chicken too. <laughs> So he starts acting like chicken, he starts playing like chicken, he starts eating like chicken, everything that chickens do. Uh, and then one day he sees this amazing, beautiful uh, eagle soaring gracefully in the skies and he says, wow, that's amazing, I wish I could fly like that. And then he ch his chicken brothers and sisters, they kind of discourage him saying, uh, don't even dream about it, you are simply chicken, you cannot fly that high. So the story ends here, but the story doesn't end for us. We are in all kinds of different circumstances and we all have all different dreams and goals and visions in our mind. And we sometimes are afraid to chase those dreams. But this story tells us that uh, we are born as eagles. Uh, even if we are among chickens, we have to always think of ourselves as eagles. And anything that we can have in our mind, any wonderful, wonderful dreams, we have to trust that the Lord will give us the wings to fly as high as we can and to chase our dreams, to reach our visions and reach our goals and, and realize them in our lives. So be a dreamer and know that something good that you put in your heart, God is there to bless it to bless it and give you the capacity to realize them and to make them uh, a reality. God bless you.